everyone. We're here for another edition of All Booked Up. I'm here with my bud, Kathy Jennings, and we're going to talk about a wonderful book called Ordinary Grace by William Kent Kruger. This is one of Kathy's favorite books, and she has convinced me to read it. I'm on chapter 12. Well, good for you. I love this book, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's a coming-of-age story set in 1961 in Minnesota. Um, two boys that are young, they're growing up in a little town, but their sister is killed. Who killed her? That's the question. You'll find more things about prejudice, upper class versus lower class. You're going to see a lot of things from the 60s that I bet a lot of people will remember. Um, I love the author's writing style. He does a great job with making you understand the characters. And the characters come to life, just come to life so quickly in this book. So it's a really nice read. Um, he, this is not his first book, but I think it's his first standalone book. I am completely in awe of this book. I read it very quickly because it was so good. And I hope you will too. I hope you will really get into this book and really like I it. I am really enjoying it, Kathy. Uh, the two little boys, Frankie and Jake, are very engaging. It's very well written. Uh, and I do enjoy that. I am intrigued to find out. And the sister being murdered is not the only tragedy that happens in this town. Uh, the characters are fascinating, and it makes you want to get home so you can read this book when it's all over. So right now, I would give it a high style rating. Me too. And recommend that you all try out reading Ordinary Grace by William Kent Kruger. That's all we have for today's issue of All Booked Up. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Diana. I will be leaving the library, and so this is the last time I will be doing All Booked Up. I really appreciate all the things we've done, and I hope, 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 you will come back and watch the videos with Diana and whoever takes my place, because they're going to do some great things, too. So goodbye, everybody, and we'll see you when we see you.